Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed attendees, allow me to welcome you on behalf of the Creators Union of Arab, the consultative status of the Economic and Social Council in the United Nations. As we organize this session in cooperation with the Arab Media Union, which also the ECOSAC consultative status in the United Nations, and we are delighted to have HDTC Training Center as our strategic partner, which has grandly contributed to spreading awareness about the importance of this curriculum among the AI revolution, assuring the need to educate teachers, parents, and most importantly, the children, who are the core of this curriculum. And we extend a welcome to all whom attending our session, even in person or online. Let me extend a welcome to our distinguished speakers in this session. In my right hand, Dr. Ahmad Noor, the president of the Creators Union of Arab and the Arab Media Union. And on my left hand, Dr. Nabih Abdel Majid, a professor at the Colleges of Technological Science in the United Arab Emirates, who is the intellectual property owner to the Digital Safety and Cyber Security Circumulated, which will be presented our, in our this session today. And we welcome also our speaker from Egypt, Dr. Hala Adli Hussein, the Secretary General of Women's Affairs at the Creators Union of Arab, and Secretary General of the Union of Arab Women Leaders, the member of the State of Arab Legion. The session will address several key points. The mission of this curriculum is its implementation objectives and its impact on achieving safe internet usage. And we will discuss the role of the supply chain in the cyber security. Before we start this session, let me briefly outline the agenda of this session. We will start with welcoming words by Dr. Ahmad Noor, then the intervention of Dr. Hala Adli Hussain, uh, who will joining us online. And last but not least, we will share Dr. Nabih's journey with the digital safety and cybersecurity curriculum. Let's start our session by uh, the welcoming word by Dr. Ahmad Noor. Please get the floor, Dr. Ahmad. Thank you, Dr. Narmin. Thank you for all. I uh, have to speak Arabic because I am a chairman for Creators Union of Arab, uh, but uh, I like to see you uh, hello and uh, welcome everyone to our session today. I would like to express our delight in introducing this unique educational curriculum. We will spare on effort in implementing it in practice. I uh, extend my thanks to HTDC as the strategy planner of the Creators Union of Arab uh, for their effective contribution. And allow me to welcome to Dr. Hal Adli Hussein, Secretary General of Women's Affairs at the Creators Union of Arab and all our esteemed attendees. Welcome to all, we well, thank you for Thank you, Dr. Ahmed. Now we'll listen to intervention from Dr. Hal Adli Hussain. Uh, I think she's joining us online. Dr. Hala, are you? Yes, here? I'm with you. Yes, hello, good morning. Hi, good Dr. morning in e from Egypt. <laughs> I don't know. The good time. morning. Uh, in our, here in Japan, we are afternoon. <laughs> okay. Please have the floor. Thank you. Okay. Uh, dear Dr. Ahmed Noor, President of the Creators Union of uh, Arab and uh, Arab Media Professionals, Member of the United Nations, it's honor for me to be part of this valuable conference to discuss the importance of protecting and securing and, se the, and secure all the information in the name of digital safety and cybersecurity curriculum. Uh, my session today, or my, I'm going to speak about the role of blockchain and uh, how it will protect our valuable data and our business and our assets. 
as the cyber criminals are increasing the frequency and sophistication of cyber attacks by pulling their knowledge and leveraging new technologies. The use of the artificial intelligence and the machine learning help them to prepare it, uh, cyber crime more efficiently, causing more profound and widespread damage. So the traditional solution alone are often insufficient to meet modern uh, uh, cybersecurity challenges. So we must explore other approaches for improving information security, including the blockchain technology. The blockchain technology, according to IBM, is a shared immutable ledger that facilitate the process of recording the transactions and the tracking assets in a business network. So it is a system for tracking anything with value, uh, securely, transparently, and the cost efficiency. The name of blockchains come from the fact that each transaction is recorded as a block of data, and this block might record one or more data types, such as the quantity, price, or location. Um, these blocks become a chain as the assets move from one owner to the other owner, and the chain contains the details of each transaction, including their times and sequences. So a blockchain can be advantageous to any use case. The world benefits from secure, uh, transparent, decentralized network, including healthcare, supply chain management, copyrights, uh, and royalty, and royalty protection, the IoT, Internet of Things, mass, uh, messaging, voting, charity, even the new innovation for uh, drugs, as I am a pharmacist, so it's very valuable for me to protect the innovation and the know-how from stealing. The blockchain has two types. The one of them is the public uh, type, which we are all know this is a Bitcoin, uh, which uh, remains the most uh, prominent example of the public blockchain. As anyone can join the public blockchain and they can be and can do so any anonymous. This blockchain ecosystem use internet connected to computer or mobile to validate the transaction and to provide the agreed upon consensus. The consensus here is achieved via Bitcoin mining using computer resources to, to solve the cryptographic puzzle to create the proof of work by which to validate each transaction. This is uh, the public blockchain does not have many identity and access control. So authentication and verification are largely car carried out through public key encryption. In contrast, a private blockchain, which is more, very more, more, more important for our business, for our organization, for our data, uh, the private blockchain rely heavily on identity control, mostly through digital certificates, using them to make the blockchain private through membership and the access privilege. Typically, a private blockchain only allow the access to known entities and organizations. So the consensus here is achieved on a private blockchain by selective endorsement. Known users with privilege access and uh, permission verify transaction and uh, maintain the ledgers due to trigger Due to this tighter control, private blockchain can be likely to satisfy an industry regulatory compliance requirements. Uh, also, the, as we said before, the innovation of the drugs, the, all the all the secure data, so that I think it is more um, compatible or more to be more benefits uh, for the defense uh, army. Uh, so it's very important for them. So uh, cyber security is built into blockchain technology because of its inherent nature of being a decentralized system built on principles of security, privacy, and trust. In addition to transparency and the cost effect, uh, efficiency and enhanced security, it is a fast. Data on blockchain network is delivered in real time, making it useful to anyone who wants to, to track assets and see transaction end to end, such as payments, orders, accounts, or uh, know-how of our drugs. 
uh, in addition to transparency, it's cost effective. It's important to note uh, that uh, viewing a transaction or transmission may, inst may uh, be instant due, but due to encryption and serialization process, each record can be slow to upload compared to typical data network. So blockchain uh, have many advantages like decentralization, uh, also collaborative consensus. As blockchain collaborate consensus, algorithm means that it can monitor uh, the ledgers for unusual or uh, malicious activity. Also the strong encryption practice uh, and the digital signature effectively using a public key infrastructure for validating configuration modifications, authenticating devices, securing communication, uh, and uh, an infrastructure of asymmetric cryptographic keys and the digital signature is often core to blockchain technology, providing, uh, providing verification of data ownership and data integrity. Uh, the immutable records, nobody can modify uh, a recording on blockchain ledgers. If, if a record contain an error, it can only be uh, rectified by making another transaction or another block, in which case post-transaction will be legible. So nobody can interfere with the data or change any data on the system. Also the Internet of, Internet of Things protection with increasing the application in various industry devices are often targeted by uh, cyber criminals due to their inherent vulnerabilities. So blockchain provide additional protection for those using uh, IoT devices. Also preventing the DDoS attacks, distributed uh, denial of service attack aims to, to overload a server with requests, it requires focal point to target typically an intellectual property address or a small group of IP addresses. Uh, however, blockchain based domain name system DNS can remove that single focal point neutralizing the cyber threats. Also the data privacy, it's very important while the transparency is a prime benefit of using blockchain with everyone able to see immutable transaction, uh, uh, the blockchain network will allow only the trusted network to view the participant transaction. This can be achieved with minimal governance. Furthermore, blockchain leaks uh, the traditional targets sought by criminal, uh, by cyber criminals, making it more challenging for them to achieve unauthorized access by targeting a privacy tool. Uh, blockchain will protect our contracts as a smart contract security. The smart contract security are sets of rules stored on the blockchain that trigger transactions when the conditions are met. This automation make payments uh, more convenient. Blockchain remains secure because its components are tested for authentication, data security, access control, and business, lo uh, business logic validation. Uh, from the advantages of blockchain, it's uh, just with, uh, as implementation of any business system through risk assessment and the subsequent management the process are required to ensure the data protection and safety uh, of, business, of business system. So it is very important in the risk assessment management. And the regulatory focus, heavily regulated industry aim to protect the public and the critical infrastructure with clear guidelines regarding the information security. And any blockchain implementation should be carried out with close eye on regulatory requirements. Also in the disaster recovery plan, it's very important as it, the minimum re security requirements for blockchain uh, participant and organization implementing uh, blockchain solution require detailed policies on identifying verification and access management. This is a critical area for blockchain applications since it is potential source strength and contributes to firm vulnerability. So uh, from my point of view, blockchain has no single point of failure. 
every chain is immutable, so no participant can break a link to insert a clock. It's almost impossible to tamper with one of these cryptographic chains because an agreed consensus mechanism validates the accuracy of every transaction in the chain. Uh, however, blockchain also face some limitation and risks such as scalability, inter, uh, interoperability, uh, regulation, governance, and, and education. So it's very important to share with you as uh, uh, the doctor uh, at, um, uh, tackle this point to be a curriculum in the school. It's very important just for all of our students and our parents to be aware of this. Thanks for your kind listening, uh, Dr. Ahmed, Dr. Neen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Hala Adli Hussain. Uh, the clarification about uh, the role of blockchain uh, of uh, to cybersecurity, uh, it will play a very important role uh, in this uh, matter. I think it's uh, very important to concentrate uh, of blockchain and using it uh, to achieve uh, the cybersecurity. Thank you, Dr. Hala. Now it's time for our journey with Dr. Nabi Abdel Majid, Digital Safety Curriculum Owner as IP, Intellectual Property. Get the floor, Doctor. Thank you very much. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak about this curriculum here in one of the distinguished uh, um, events. I would like first of all to thank Dr. Ahmed Noor, the uh, creator Union of Arab and the Arab uh, Media uh, Union. Uh, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Thank you for Dr. N uh, Nermeen also, the secretary manager of the uh, uh, creator Union of Arab. And I would like also to thank the Higher College of Technology United Arab Emirates. Thank you very much for for all the support that you give me. Today, actually, uh, we are talking about something really critical for everyone because everyone has a child and everyone has uh, need to know uh, what happening with my kids. So uh, are they uh, using the devices in a safe mode or not? So what I did, first of all, I studied the culture of more than one country, like in the Middle East, the Saudi Arabia, and also I studied the culture of uh, uh, United Arab Emirates. And we have a lot of, uh, I have, I've been choked about the number that I saw. So uh, l let me go through these numbers, this study, and just to show you why it's very important to take care about our children uh, what they do actually when they're using the internet. Uh, are they playing? Are they thought that they are out of the target of hackers? And then we'll talk about the solution that I'm providing, the curriculum where the students can know exactly, can teach themselves, can we can cooperate to rehabilitate the students in a way that they can know exactly what's happening when they're using the, uh, the social uh, uh, media. So what motivates me actually, what I saw of rapid development of information technology and the existing of diversity and easily way for information. You know now everyone can, can, can reach to whatever he needs within a few seconds. So it's so easy to be connected to the internet. Although we have, as we heard, we, we have more than 2 billion point six, uh, they don't have uh, connection, but I'm talking about the other part of the world that is has a connect that they have a connection but actually they don't know exactly how to use it in a safe mode most most of the the the, the people and and you know there has been a high amount among the students to use the social network the everyone cannot live without the internet without the connection okay and unfortunately i have to say that all of 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 the communities they don't, most of the communities, let me say, they, they don't rehabilitate themselves. They don't, they don't teach themselves first before they go to start using uh, the, the internet. So that motivates me actually to stop here and take care. L let me study what's happening in the market. Let me study what's happening in between the child in the schools. And one of the most striking results for the 
uh, consciousness turned out is the, the many uh, uh, misguided security practices, as I told you. And the uh, recent successes of these hackers in presenting users' privacy and extortion. So let me, let me tell you exactly, the, the first of all, the study samples and what numbers I have, and then what the solution. This is what I'm going to, to show you uh, today. So the, the, the samples actually identify the turnaround degree of using social science. So how many hours everyone is using the internet daily and identify the students' goals of using these science. And I'll tell you what I found actually. And then identify percentage of those who have been hacked between the students uh, in the schools. And I would to show you what is the relation between what is the relation between the level of the knowledge and how you are secured actually. Imagine this is these hours is not uh, included the hours of studying. So when I ask the students how many hours you use the uh, the uh, devices daily, uh, most of them said that more more than six hours daily, and these the hours of studying using the tablet is not included. So if you add just the hours of studying in the school or at home for studying, it's it's going to be more than twelve hours a day. And that's actually stopped me. What's happening during these 12 hours? Do we know that as, as a parents, what's happening with, with our kids? Look at these numbers. I will not read all of this, but I need, I need you to stop with me, okay, on what's happening actually. So more than 79 of male and female students have more than one account of these sites. I don't know why. I was asking some, some of the students why you need to do this. They, they just playing. And around 90% of the students say that it is very difficult to stop using these sites. So it is type of addiction. So, so it, is, it is type of they, they, never can, they, they, don't, they don't stop. And 15.2 of the students are choosing fake names when they're using sites. And also fake gender. Say somebody told that uh, I'm I'm woman <laughs> and I'm a man. So so w w why when I as well was asking them why you, you need to do this? They just play, and they don't know exactly what that might affect them. So more than 23 percent indicated that the personal information is not real. Where where can stop me also? And more and around 35 percent of the students confirmed that they had established false relationship through all these sites. I know, uh, definitely sure that you, you, you had a lot of cases similar to these cases. But actually what, what was stopped me sometime that more than 15 percent indicated that they are being subjected to extortion continuously. And I think most of them, you know, in the Middle East, we have it in, in a, a culture that the, the women have a special, you know, um, uh, I mean, privacy. Um, and of, course, of course, the privacy is special for every world. But the extortion, 15 percent, means that every every hundred uh, uh, student, female student, there has been extorted. Uh, 15 15 students of them has been extorted. That's a big number. It's a big number, really. And I'm sure that m many other hide at this because they shy to say this. And also, 22.2 of the students reported that they have been exposed to penetration during their use of these sites. And also 34 of their password had been stolen. 15.2 of the students have stolen their files and their own pictures. So what, where we are, and that actually stopped me. Look at these numbers. I'm sorry to read because it's a very important. I need to read all of these numbers because it's, it's really, um, I, I, I need to all to cooperate to stop what happening with our kids. So 58 of, boi of, point eight of the students they express their accept acceptance to any friendship requested through these sites. So they trust everyone. <laughs> and this is actually uh, something where it make me stop. 38.9 believe that all information presented through these sites, yeah, it's, 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 uh, we can believe it. And around 70% of the students believe the social Network sites are safe and trustworthy. See, these numbers actually stopped me. Okay, I can I can tell you a lot of numbers in this studying. Okay, and these uh, slides I hope is, is going to be shared with the 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 uh, site of United Nation of the for uh, sorry IDF United Nation. So 
what about the parents now? And also the parents stopped me. Do you know what's happening with your kids? Uh, do you, can, can you work with the social media and devices as your, as your uh, kids? And when I study this, I found a huge bond between both of them. So, and there is a parallel relation between your level of education and uh, what actually, how, how can you help your kids uh, against any uh, cases of, of extortion? And this uh, table can, can show you that if your level of education high, then your fare uh, will be low and the opposite is right. And this is how many, if you high, how many cases you found with your kids and how many cases you saw you help them. So it's, it's around like 70% of the cases parents can help their kids if they well dedicated how to use these social media. And, and that's actually uh, make me decide that to solve the problem, that is not only for the kids. You should not target only the kids. Actually, you have to target a different part of the community. The first one is kids. The second one is parents. And also the educators, okay, in the schools. So if, if we cooperate all of these parts of the community, then we definitely will help the world to be more secure and the people uh, being sure that uh, how we, we're going to use this social media. So what we need actually, uh, a curriculum. And this curriculum uh, that, that I created uh, with the fully support with uh, Arabic Creator and HDTC and also hackers of technology. Uh, I I I curriculum uh, which uh, connected with the platform, with videos and interactive screens. So we teach the students step by step how you know that this website is fake or not. How you know that this uh, is, is somebody opening my cam or not. And also we targeting the parents to help them to watch their kids in order to, to know exactly is somebody trying to attack my kids, to extort my, my kids or not. So we create this curriculum in a three different levels. We're starting from introduction to information security, going to operating system, why we have to update operating system. Personal account management skills uh, have to increase your skills, okay, to build your skills in a way that you can secure yourself. And social network security skills, and then early intrusion detection. So there's uh, some signs I have to teach the students. If you saw this, then you ought to be attacked, take care and then web browsing skills, and then we move to preventing electronic extortion and then external control. This is all for the first level. Of course, more details we have, and I can share it with you. The second level, we're talking about file backup. How you, you, being, uh, how you know that if I delete something, then it is deleted, and no one can retain it back. It's type of privacy. And how I have a backup and a lot of details about the privacy and control application activities and hide my moving in the internet so no one can track me. And the last one is how to control, the last level, is how to control your account, iCloud or Android or any other uh, a, a cloud. So we start by iCloud management skills because I do believe that the, the systems, the tools, has a lot of features, but actually the people doesn't know all of these. We know how to use this mobile. We know how to, to, to start calling somebody. But how to hide my call, how to hide myself, how to be sure that no one observing me, this is the challenge actually to, to uh, build the, the, the knowledge for the community. So these three levels actually in order to what? We, we need a comprehensive program from basic to advanced, okay, in order to uh, uh, move up all the community, and we need to develop a leader in cybersecurity experts. I'm uh, dreaming in one day that we have a student, before you go to the university, you secured enough. I know that no one can say that I'm secure 100%, but what we're trying to do is to decrease the number of hits. Okay, so, so in a way that uh, it's not easy for, for the others, for attacker, okay, for criminals to attack the kids. And let's combine together starting from fury to read world application and simulation. So what I'm looking for is, is not, it's not only me, it's not only uh, United, uh, sorry, Creator United of Arab. It's, it's a cooperative for all community. And that's why we choose this event 
okay, to announce about or to launch this curriculum in order to help all the community. We are trying to help different uh, community in order to be secure by cooperative with, with uh, uh, all elements of, of the community. So let's talk about SDSC, about this introduction about it. I, I need, I'm, I'm happy to show you how we build this curriculum and how it's easy for the students, okay? In order, it, because it's not only just education, it's, it's a career, okay, improvements. And it's, it's a good opportunity to bridge the global skill application. It's, it's a call for everyone to be at a front of cybersecurity training. So, so uh, I do believe that the, the world has a lot of technologies. The only thing we need is to know how to use this technology. And these resources, are, it, it will be shared also, the study of different cultures. We call the curriculum SDSC, Student Digital Safety Certification. And by the way, uh, we have a lot of uh, certificates in the same area, like a school, uh, 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 safety schools, and a lot of, of curriculum, but actually, why it's not working? Okay. Oh. Do we have internet? Do you have a connection? Yeah, okay. So this is, this is the curriculum, the, the website, where you can find a student digital safety certification. And first of all, before we go through the curriculum, we have to start by survey. And actually we build a three type of surveys. The first survey is for the, uh, the parents and the second one for students and the third one for the uh, educator themselves. Uh, I think we have a problem in the speed of the connect connectivity. What's wrong here? If you can help me to connect, um, uh, sorry. So, so we choose this one, for example. Uh, unfortunately, we are in in a place that we should. Excuse it me, is, there is, is a there's is a problem online. in connection. There is no internet connection here. Oh. Okay. Never mind. Oh. Um. You can explain it, doctor, uh, at the steps of. Uh, well, I'm very excited to show you <laughs> the, the curriculum and videos <laughs> and interactive experience. Uh, let them discover uh, it uh, on me, uh, the site. Let me try. It. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'll, I'll try to do this. Yes. Um, which one is this one? Yes. <laughs> we are here to make uh, infrastructure <laughs> for <laughs> this all. <laughs> oh, but wait, wait. If not, then I'll talk about the curriculum and we can show you the... Yes, uh, so we can let the them start, to discover yeah. uh, and visit uh, our site, uh, doctor. No, you know, you can this explain culture, it. This culture is like my kids, you know. Yes, I, I, I know. Need, I need to show everyone what I have. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to connect, yeah. Uh, cannot connect to this one. Uh, doctor Nabi working in this curriculum for seven years ago. And uh, we get this chance to launch it to all educational in, in institutions uh, to get benefit from this curriculum because it's very important uh, to save our uh, kids the and uh, the role of parents. They know how to, to use this curriculum uh, to protect uh, their kids uh, without uh, let them ke uh, losing their uh, self-confidence. This is a very important point uh, that uh, we concentrate on. Uh, okay, I don't know wh where was the problem. Um, this is the survey. We stopped here that we start by uh, giving a survey for everyone, like parents and students and teachers. So if you're parents, we need to check your level, or students or a security level, I'm sorry. And teacher, so if you just click on the in the survey, and you need just to fill your information, and when you finish the uh, 
the survey because we have a lot of questions, okay? It's a multiple choice question. And then you will receive an analyzed email that you, this is your strong point and this is your weak, weak, weakest point, right? In the, actually, um, you go to LMS. LMS is where uh, our curriculum. And allow me to uh, get access by, oh, sorry. platform as you see here we can we can have more than one course um, in different languages we, we have Arabic and English now so what is your your device is it Android or iOS because you know the Android have a different screens okay and I uh, different than iOS so if if your PC or device iOS then you click on iOS and then start the different uh, the different curriculum here. This is the first level, as I told you, we start from introduction and with the uh, internet safe browsing. And I I each one of them uh, has a lot of uh, assignment, like a group of assignment and, and exams. Okay, so you can see here, it's a complete school, so assignment and assignment two. Um, I need to show you, because the time is consuming, how one of them is working. So if you go to find who is spying your device, for example, the video will start uh, telling you uh, introduction about the, 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 the session and start recording. Where's the sound? There's no sound. Did you know, dear student, that it is possible for your device to be hacked without you even realizing it? This is one and of the without sessions. any change in the performance of the device. Yes, this is real. Let's consider what this means. Many programs have the ability to breach and sneak into your device and then start monitoring you without your knowledge. These are called hacking programs. Let's consider various examples of how hacking software can affect your device. If, so of course, you do not take the necessary steps to prevent it. This Let is all one of the sessions, and, and teacher can stop whatever he needs to stop, can retain back and go forward, so it's easy to use for all the students. Allow me to take just two minutes from your time, and then we'll, we'll proceed the different parts of the, of the class. Let's start with the first example. What if these hacking programs remotely controlled your device's camera? This means that a hacking program that infiltrated your device without your knowledge has managed to activate your device's camera. Thus, the hacker who runs this program will be able to look at you and monitor you all the time, without your knowledge. The attacker is controlling your device's camera and may be able to see who is sitting with you as well. Do you agree with this? And so on. This is the first part of theoretical I mean, media. Okay? And then the next, the next step, when you finish, the next step, you will start the exercises. The first exercise is so for it's revealing interactive whether screens. the device is compromised or not by WhatsApp program using the following two steps. The student has to click start, okay? Go to the WhatsApp web or desktop option in the WhatsApp settings menu as shown in the following screen. So step by step we teach the students what to do in order to implement this idea and that idea. Go to the web.whatsapp.com website using your laptop. Okay, click create, it's not only video, interactive screen as I told you. And scan the QR code as shown in the following screens. Go back to WhatsApp web or desktop and see the result of the test. The screen shown indicates that there is no tracking through WhatsApp. Okay, a student can repeat it as much as he needs. At home also he has username and password and he, and he can get access to the website and teach himself. Okay. And also we have next training in the same session. So we have different sessions and we have sub sessions inside each one of them. Okay, so for the next, you will you will start exercise, exercise number two. Is to detect okay. whether or not the I need to go to the third part of the class where we have conclusion. In this lesson, 
We have learned two distinct ways to... So after the, the suppositions inside the session, then we go to conclusion and then we go to some sort of questions for the students. Preserve our privacy by making sure that no one is using our personal accounts. The first way is by using the WhatsApp application and the second is by opening the Google account through the browser. Make sure you can do them properly, then move on to the next section. Wishing you all the best. Okay, to the next, and then and then we have like sort of three to four questions for each session, just to be sure between faculty or teacher and student that you were with me or not. And let's let's answer this question and let's review some of these questions together. It's not an exam, it's just reviewing. Please answer the following questions. Yes, start and then start discuss between teacher and this make a real uh, interactive or active. Let me see. Uh, let me say sorry. Active uh, a class in the in the class. Sorry. Yeah. So if you, if you just answer wrong, that answer. will tell you wrong or correct. Okay. Wrong. Can you have one right, please? Correct answer. Okay, and then. And then, please review this lesson yeah, and because, try again. Yeah, because your score is, and you can review the quiz also. Discuss between the faculty and the teacher. You have to, the faculty, sorry, teacher and the students. You have to answer this one and why. Um, and actually, allow me to tell you that we just implement this program as a pilot, okay, a test, because we're planning to launch here, okay, in this event by supporting of. Uh, Dr. Ahmed Noor and Dr. Nermin. So we, 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 we launched it for a different community. Next. So you see exactly where you fold. Okay. In, in next. Please review and this lesson. If you stop it, you return back to the, uh, uh, to the, to the curriculum. Allow me also to uh, tell you that we have a lot of reverts, a lot of reverts. Okay, and uh, uh, different privilege for student, different than manager, different than than the teacher in a way that you can observe you can observe you can monitor you, your kids your students where he was or she was and where he or she is exactly now so the survey we start by survey and we end by survey also and we have a lot of ribbons you can find it here site administrator okay and you can go to different and different options okay uh, so we have ribbons here and it's also customizing Rivet. So we gave you opportunity or uh, an ability to create your own Rivet. I do believe, finally, let me say, I do believe that I if we cooperate, all of us, okay, we can help the community to be secure. And this is our message, actually. We need to cooperate, all of us. It's not only teacher, it's not only uh, the one who uh, created this program, it's, it's, it's an, an effort has to be taken by all different parts of, of community. So let's uh, start from this distinguished place, okay, to cooperate, I, I, because I have five kids, okay, everyone have kids, okay, <laughs> and we need to be secure. Uh, so let's cooperate together uh, in order to reach the level of uh, uh, secure community. This is my message, and this is the message of um, uh, creator of uh, uh, created union of Arab, and also the uh, SCT where where I also supported from, and also HDTC. Thank you for everyone. Thank you for attending my session, and it's 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 yours, Doctor. Thank you very much. Thank you, Doctor Nabi. It's amazing and outstanding, really, uh, program. Uh, but I want to ask just uh, how old are uh, the kids that the, this curriculum targeted? Well, we targeted from grade five. So it's here. They can use yeah. it starting from uh, grade, five grade five to grade 11. Yes. Because we have different levels of the... Uh, okay, I think uh, all uh, persons in the room, what the role of uh, parent parents of the kids uh, in this uh, curriculum? Oh, thank you very much <laughs> for this question. Because the, the parents is one of the main... I mean, it's all, let me say. Yes. Because, <laughs> yeah, we have a uh, group of sessions also um, with the same curriculum. So, so whenever you participate in this program, mm -hmm. okay, your parents has to... Uh, attend like group of sessions just to show them how you I don't say I don't want to say uh, uh, observe or monitor 
but just take care of your kids. How you know exactly what happening with you? They should uh, observe and monitor, but without uh, knowing of uh, their kids <laughs> to be safe, because well, we are in open uh, environment of well digital, and there is a lot of risks. Yes, yes, but what, what, I, what I need to say that the students can do whatever they need. Yes, sure. Even if you <laughs> close all the doors, they will definitely find another wo door. But actually, the best thing is to think how to be, um, just, just watch them. Watch them, yes. take care of them. We try to help them against any extortion if it's happened. This is my <laughs> message, yeah. Actually. Yes, thank you, Dr. Nabi. I think uh, we have uh, left then uh, five minutes. Uh, if anyone in the room uh, have a question, please uh, get the floor in the middle of the room. Dr. Nermin, Dr. Ahmed, uh, yes. thank you, doctor, for this valuable session because uh, it's very, very valuable for me because I'm targeting the education in our project. So uh, if this is approved by the education, the Ministry of Education in Jordan or still not approved? Yeah, no, we, we, we are accredited from KHD in Dubai. So uh, yeah. it, is, it, is, it is accredited, yes. Uh, that's the why we are looking uh, looking for the recommendation from the IGF here uh, to be implemented in a different uh, places in a different community. It's just implemented in uh, in Emirates. Doctor Hala, only in Emirates. Doctor yes. Hala, we have to we hope to share this uh, curriculum for all over the world, so we are uh, make this point a start for. Uh, all the students, all schools, all uh, uh, the uh, the goals of uh, this uh, session. One of the goals of this session, Dr. Hala, to share this uh, curriculum or uh, with uh, uh, a large number with of educational with institutions. Arab legal, we, I think you have to put it in with the Arab legal. Just yeah, uh, sure, sure. Meeting the next meeting. Yes, sure. Okay. Uh, we are uh, already uh, talking about this point uh, with the, the Arab legal. Thank you for this okay. intervention, Dr. Okay. Hala. It will be very beneficial. Sure. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Hala. Much. Thank you. Uh, anyone have a question? Okay, I think uh, no one have any question. Yes, please. Thank you for this opportunity. My name is Rohit Prasadra. I'm from Nepal. And right now, I am a student, uh, master degree. So my question is like, uh, uh, what are the or like what are the ethical consideration in cybersecurity, especially regarding hacking and privacy? Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> I, I think most of the session is about how to stop hacking the privacy. <laughs> in the uh, uh, how to know exactly if somebody attack my PC by watching my my uh, cam my. Uh, Mike, and also how if I delete some of the files, being sure that no one retain it back and take my privacy. This is another session. If somebody attacked my iCloud, for example, how would I know? And then how I stop them? Okay, this is another session we have in this curriculum. <laughs> and also, where exactly you can control the the uh, 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 specification of uh, a lot of options in in iCloud and an Android. Okay, and then let's teach the students also a lot of sessions in the curriculum how to control what is this and what is that and how, how, could, how would I use this one and that one and control my, my privacy using my account. Yes, a lot and a lot of, <laughs> basically this curriculum built on this. <laughs> yes, thank you for your question. Yeah, thank uh, you very much for your question. Uh, thank you. I think uh, we are here because this is a, re a revolution of all kind of technology. And uh, we have uh, a long-term works uh, to achieve what you say about the cybersecurity in all categories uh, of usage and uh, uh, users of internet and the environmental uh, world. So thank you very much for all attendees online and in person. And I hope, uh, thank you, Dr. Nabi, for this outstanding presentation. Thank you, thank you. Thank you Dr. Ahmad Noor, for your uh, expertise for this initiative. Thank you, Dr. Hala, for joining us in the, your presentation. Uh, we hope that it will be implemented by the largest number of educational institutions to protect our children and 
draw a new map for the safe use of the internet. Thank you for you all. Uh, see you next IGF <laughs> in Riyadh. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ahmed. Thank you, Dr. Nermi. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.